Welcome to another edition of Lens Talk. So, basically Sigma has announced a new lens, which is the Sigma 100 to 400 f5 to 6.3 DG OS HSM contemporary lens. Quite a mouthful. Um, basically, it's obviously a 100 to 400 um, Sigma lens, which has just recently been released, and it's, in my opinion, to compete with the Canon. 100 to 400 big price difference basically there's a thousand pound price difference at the moment even though Canon have bumped the price up of their lenses by about 200 pound but they're offering a 200 pound cashback deal a uh, bit of mis advertising in my opinion but uh, that's what's going on at the moment with Canon anyway back to the Sigma lens um, who do I think it's for um, it's a good question that because Obviously, £800 seems a lot of money to me for a 100 to 400 zoom lens. Especially when you can buy a 150 to 600mm 6.3 lens for the same price. And I don't know about you guys, but this is actually a better lens. The 150 to 600 f5 to 6.3 um, has a better aperture in terms of the focal length than the 100 to 400. Obviously the 100 to 400 is going to be a lot shorter. Um, uh, minimum focus distance is 160 centimeters. Um, it's got a filter thread of 67 millimeters, 21 uh, lens elements in 15 groups. Um, it's also compatible with the Sigma Dock. Um, you can use a Sigma, Sigma MC11 um, adapter for your Sony cameras. However, um, this is where I differ from a lot of people out there on YouTube, where they say it's a good performer to use third party lenses on the Sony system. Let me tell you something. From what I've seen, right, the autofocus is quite slow with that adapter. It's not a native lens to Sony in terms of it fitting directly onto the camera. Um, so in my opinion, if uh, you want really fast autofocus with these Sigma long lenses, you're going to need a Nikon, Nikon or a Canon camera, unfortunately. Um, because I have the Sigma 150 to 600 contemporary lens on my Canon and the focus is quick. And yet people are saying with the adapter, uh, focus hunts quite a bit. Um, which sort of suggests to me the Sigma adapter isn't that great on the Sony cameras. So keep that in mind that it's not a native lens to that uh, mount. Anyway, I just wanted to say that if you're after something that's telephoto, I would recommend the Sigma 150 to 600 contemporary over the 100 to 400. You see, Sigma's brought out the 100 to 400 to try and compete and basically outprice Canon. And it is my hope that Canon will lower the price of the 100 to 400 lens. Because what I can tell you is this, while it is optically great, although I found the focus to be a little bit on the slow side, um, they have significantly increased the price up within the space of one year this has gone from sixteen hundred pound up to eighteen fifty three um, they are offering a two hundred pound cash back deal but that's to try and entice people to buy it and then they get some money back but it sort of gives the impression that they're offering a deal when nothing's really changed except they've increased the price rather than keep it at sixteen hundred um, it's, it's a marketing gimmick really to try and get you to purchase the lens. Um, while I think the 100 400 is going to be a lot lighter than that, than that Canon lens, and obviously it's got a smaller filter thread, 67mm versus 77 on the Canon, um, and it's a 95mm on the 150 to 600. Personally, if you're into wildlife or sports, and you need a long lens, right? 
I would go for the 150 to 600 Contemporary or Sport lens over this because it's the same price as the Contemporary uh, 150 to 600. The choice is yours, but it's up to you to make your mind up um, which you might prefer. Um, it's an interesting lens, don't get me wrong, but you, you think long and hard for what you need and um, I hope you make the right choice. Thank you.